Hi friends, and welcome to Beach Camp, where you get a seaside view to learn about Jesus. My name is Miss Gracie, and I'm a lifeguard here at camp. Hi campers, my name is Miss Natalie, and like Miss Gracie said, we are your lifeguards and camp counselors here at Beach Camp. You know who else is a lifeguard? That's right, it's Fredward, so everybody let's get out our whistles and blow them and see if we can get them out here. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hey everybody, lifeguard Fredward at your service. <laughs> well, hi Fredward. We don't really need your help with the rules since our campers are already following them at home, but we would love your help with our camp CPR cheer. What do you say, Fredward? I love our cheer. Campers, try it with me. Care, Care protect, protect and rescue. rescue. That's how our God loves me. Care, Care protect and rescue. rescue. Just, Just watch and you will see. see. Great job, campers. All summer long, we're learning about CPR, that God C cares for us, P protects us, and R rescues us. It's gonna be so great! I can't wait to learn more with you all. But guys, someone has to watch the water. Bye, friends! Bye, Bye Fredward! <laughs> friends, something crazy happened last week. Come on, we have to show you. Friends, do you know what's something different about our ship? Last week in our Bible story, we were supposed to go sailing across the seas, but a huge storm came and the winds blew. It was absolutely terrifying and it wrecked our ship back on the shore. It was so, so scary. But the good news is me and Gracie made it back safe and sound. Hello everyone. Well, hi there, Ollie. What's going on? Well, Natalie, it's kind of a mess around here. I don't know if you noticed, but when you shipwrecked on the island, it wrecked right into my home too. I've been cleaning up this mess all morning. We're so sorry, Ollie, but we can help. Mm -hmm. I have a net over here and I can throw it over and you can put some of the mess into oh, it. Splendid idea! All right, bring her up! Friends, it's our Bible. It must have landed on the shore when our ship wrecked. I'm so glad it's all in one piece. You know, speaking of our Bible, I think it's time for another story from God's true word. It's time for our Stories by the Sea. Splish Splash. Stories by the Sea. Splish Splash. Stories by the Sea. Splish Splash. That's right, friends. And our story for today starts with a man named Paul. And Paul was traveling all around telling lots of people about Jesus. And one day it was time for Paul to go back to Rome where he was from. So he got on a ship with a bunch of other people. When they started their journey, the skies were blue and the water was calm. But suddenly dark clouds started to roll in. The wind started howling and the waves crashed against the boat. Oh my goodness, that's so terrifying. What did they do? Well, Paul had a special visitor. Paul was visited by an angel who said, do not be afraid. God is with you in the storm, and he will protect you and all of the people on the ship. So Paul went and told everybody what the angel had said to him. And in the middle of this terrible, scary storm, the people weren't afraid. I say, what a wonderful encouragement. It really was, Ollie. Finally, the boat crashed into a sandbar. All the people swam to shore safely, and the waves broke the boat into pieces. Kind of like ours was, Miss Gracie. Once all the people got safely to shore, they praised God for protecting them. What a story! God protected Paul and all of the people on the ship, and they were able to praise God because of that. That's exactly right. God knew that Paul had a lot of important work to do telling other people about Jesus because God knows that we need Jesus. Friends, I am a sinner who needs Jesus. Can you say that with me? I am a sinner who needs Jesus. That's right, friends. Uh, hey, Ollie, before you swim away, can you tell me what you learned today? I learned that we can trust in God's protection. <laughs> That's great. Bye, Ollie. Bye. Bye. Friends, we have learned so much today about how Paul tells us that we need Jesus. Paul knows that our hearts are thirsty for Jesus. That reminds me of our memory verse. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. John 737. Can you guys do that with me? If, if anyone, anyone is thirsty, thirsty let, let him come, come to me and drink. John 
737. <laughs> Great job, friends. Let's end our time together by doing our special poem and praying. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today and that we get to learn another story about how amazing you are. God, thank you that you protected Paul and all of the people from the shipwreck and the storm and that you protect us as well. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining us for another story by the sea. Swish, splash. See you next time. Bye, everybody.